Cookie party. Do you want it or not? Quick. Oh, God. Well, now it's the sheep's cookie. <laughs> Today, the Try Guys are having a little field trip to the gentle barn. Zach and Eugene aren't here, so we brought along our families. Hey, June, what are we doing today? Cows. Today we're here to hug cows. Grab your young ones and gather around. We're gonna hug some cows. We're meeting all sorts of animals today, and all these animals are rescues. <laughs> So every animal you'll see today is now living a better life than they were because of the Gentle Barn's hard work. Hi, I'm Ellie, and welcome to the Gentle Barn. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. We're excited to be here. Oh, look at his little snout. We have over 100 animals. They've all gone through incredible stories of their own. Come here to heal, forgive, forget, move on. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is such dog behavior. <laughs> When animals feel safe and loved and seen, their personality really blossoms. They're very, very much like dogs. Their tails are always wagging because they're happy. And not only are they affectionate with us, but they have incredible relationships with each other. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on, friends. Come on, guys. <laughs> now, outside of hugging the cows, what other things might we do today? For sure, cuddle the turkeys. Okay. So I'm imagining that you probably have never done that before. I've never done that. We'll definitely give some treats out to the goats and sheep and llamas. And then I was thinking that maybe you could help us feed dinner. Oh man, it's a whole herd. <laughs> the full farm experience. Right. I want to be like Paris Hilton in The Simple Life. That's I want to be right. put to work on That's the farm. Right. <laughs> well, awesome. Let's go hug some cows and get to work. Oh, wow. Wow. So you guys, I'll introduce you. This is Crystal. That's Holy Cow. Okay. That's Karma. She's our matriarch. And that's Aretha. Aretha. The cow therapy is probably emotional, but honestly, I could use some physical therapy today. I've had dog therapy before, but never with a cow. Mm -hmm. I think that sounds nice. To move past some of the hardships in life. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Get in here, Ned. Okay. The thought of being very close to a cow is a little stressful for me. Really? Yeah. You're not a huge animal person. <laughs> I'm not, a huge... not a huge animal person. He I... likes to be, like, on the other side of a fence from animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hoping to, you know, overcome this personal trepidation and to hug a cow. So what is cow hugging therapy? It's only the best thing in the whole world. Wow, wow. that's a big sell. <laughs> oh, boy. So for 22 years, uh, we have been hugging cows. It started with my very first cow. I was going through the challenges of starting a nonprofit, not knowing much about it at the time. And at the end of frustrating days, I would lean into her shoulder and she would wrap her neck around me and hold me. Oh. And I was like, whoa, everybody needs to have this. So the best way to hug a cow, you guys, is just put your faces on them and close your eyes and just take a minute to be quiet and still and feel their energy. I'm very down for this. It's so good. I'm, I'm, it's just so good. I'm and the best it. way really is to curl up on their shoulders. Yeah. So if you want to go on that side. Holy cow, I'm coming in. <laughs> so what sort of like physiological benefits are happening when you're like, you know, getting a hug. You know, there's something about being in the energy of a cow that is so grounded and centered. So chill. Yeah. So calm. Very nice. And it slows down our heart rate, it slows down our breathing, it makes us kind of centered in present time. It's a beautiful thing. The other thing is like, if you think of a newborn baby, we hold them on our shoulders, right? And so they have their faces on us and they feel really tiny and they feel really cared for in our big bodies. And I think that putting our faces on a cow and feeling small compared to their largeness, it replicates that feeling. Wow, that's <laughs> I, wow, that's a great way to think of it. Both the two of them are like, really in meditation, and so that's when cuddling them is the best because they kind of like just exude all of this good energy. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> they want some attention too. Yeah. One very exciting thing, my parents are here, my mom and dad, and my mom, you've maybe heard me talk about before, shares a lot of animals that need rescuing on Facebook, and she has actually donated several times to the Gentle Barn. When I told her we were going to some farm to hug cows, she went, is it the Gentle Barn? She knew exactly, immediately. That's how you know if you have a good scratch yeah. spot, is they oh. start licking. I, I, I love to get scratches too. This is kind of what you like. This is exactly <laughs> what I like. I like to yeah. sit there. I like that. Look at that. Yes. 
Good job, Finn. So, you know, my three-year-old, he's excited, right? But like, he's maybe a little cautious, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a new environment and cows might be big compared to a three-year-old. How do you kind of welcome someone in who's maybe a little cautious around large animals? Yeah, I love working with little kids who might be cautious in the beginning. A lot of times we think that if kids aren't petting and interacting the way that we would, mm -hmm. that they're not really wiring in the experience. Go on, June. Okay, hey, June. Good job, that was very brave to walk up to her. But the truth is that just watching and listening and feeling is enough. And so to acclimate someone like that, it's really just about giving them space mm -hmm. and letting them know that they don't have to pet the animals if they don't want to, they can just watch. Oh, thank you. Uh, Are you trying to feed the cows and hay? That was so nice, thank you. And by the end, you know, maybe they're more comfortable and that's really cool. The animals that you're gonna be exposed to today have no reason to be angry or yeah. sad or scared. Gentle. Quite Always. a gentle barn. Mm. Okay. I think there's something amazing going on over there too. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you guys not gotta get him too. It's nice to just hang out and pet a cow and not really worry about any of the other things we might have on our minds all the time. Each one of these sort of came on their own mm -hmm. through different times. And when a new cow, you know, arrives, what sort of, you know, adjusting do they have to have toward this environment? So the first thing that we do when a cow comes in is we put them through a 30-day quarantine to make okay. sure that they're healthy and to address any physical issues. Some of them come in very, very sick. Yeah. Um, once they're deemed healthy, then we have to heal them emotionally. It's very seldom that we get a cow that's trusting people. Most of the time they're really fearful. So, I mean, we couldn't touch her for a year. Wow. And so after a year, she finally was like, oh, I get it, you work for me. Okay, yeah. scratch my back. Yeah. <laughs> and she hasn't it. stopped bossing us around since. Oh, <laughs> Hello, cow. Hello, cow. I'm Such a nice cow. <laughs> Beautiful cow, so gentle. Okay, okay maybe not the best song. <laughs> maybe doesn't yeah, love the song. This has been amazing, but let's go see some of the other animals and uh, hear about their stories. All right, so uh, Ned got a little overheated. It is about 96 degrees today, so he took the boys home. But Ariel's still here with us. I'm very excited to be here. I was not going home. I was not gonna miss this. These cookies are made out of oats and molasses, and the llamas love them. I thought we could give the llamas some cookies. Yeah. On the down low, though, because if the goats and the sheep and the pigs discover, then it's going to be a mob. I think there's And a, I think we've been made. I think, somebody's, I think uh, somebody knows. Somebody's here. And, uh, <laughs> I think I smell something. Uh, it smells like you were talking about not feeding me a cookie. Uh, I don't know about that. So this is our upper barnyard where the pigs, sheep, goats, chickens, turkeys, peacock, llamas, and emu live. We have wow. cookies. Hello, friend. Hello. Hi. So I think the first thing we need to do is get rid of these cookies because everybody's starting to smell <laughs> them. The cookies. So let's go up there to our llamas and feed them. Hello. Come on, hey, you want a cookie? We're gonna Hello, give it to you. Hello, beautiful. So he can't grab them, so you have to sh kind of like push it in his mouth. Shove it in his mouth. Here you go, friend. You want to eat one of these? You want to have one of these? Have one of these? Have one of these? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Is that good, my darling? All gone, all gone. Sorry. You done? Okay, another one? That's nice. Oh, okay. Now while you're eating, I understand. I respect that. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, everybody's getting cookies. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Cookie, that's it. No more cookies. No more cookies. Well, this is great. Um, but I think I need a turkey on my lap. So our cuddle turkey, her name is Sun, and um, I'm gonna sit you down in front of her, and she's just gonna fall asleep in your lap. Hello. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Hi. Oh, you are so sweet. What's your day been like? This is a dream. All the turkeys I've ever met in my life have been wild, running around, screaming, and this sweetie has a blanket sort of jacket on, and just <laughs> walked over, you know, I never thought I would call a turkey cute, but this turkey is cute. <gasps> yeah. Keep you're talking, cute. Keith. You're so cute. She likes it. You're beautiful. You're soft. You're sweet. And do you guys see the pink bumps on her head and neck? Yeah. Uh -huh. what are those? That's her jewelry. That's how she makes herself beautiful to other turkeys. Oh, oh girl. You are beautiful. Turkeys are one of the closest living relatives to the dinosaur. And so if you notice, she has two eyelids, just like reptiles. 
One that closes up to down, and then another that closes left to right. I'm, this is just lovely. I could hang out, listen to some music, sit here and just pet a turkey for a good hour. So now we are going to feed the pigs their favorite snack, watermelon. We've got both triwives here to smash these melons. I'm gonna be here to try to smash them into smaller pieces and spread them out because apparently, as soon as they're smashed, pigs come a running. One, two, two three. three. Oh, okay. Piglets! Pigs! Ah, pigs! Oh yeah, look at these pigs. That's good stuff. Yeah, rip oh, it apart. Yeah. That's the biggest pig I've ever seen. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen. So we have finished feeding the pigs. I got to sit with a little turkey. We've been doing a lot of stuff that's honestly for us. So now I think we really have to do something that's specifically just for the animals. Maybe brush some horses, maybe clean up after some horses. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so this is Hero. And the reason her name is Hero is because she has had one of the worst stories that we've ever had in the history of the Gentle Barn. Several years ago, we were part of a very, very massive cruelty case. Over the course of four years, we not only ended up with hundreds of animals from there, but we were successful in shutting the guy down and he went to jail. When we got her, she was absolutely so damaged. There was no muscle or fat on her. You could see every bone in her body. She had cancer in both her eyes. We brought her to specialists, to different hospitals. We drove her up north to UC Davis, and unfortunately she lost the left one, but we were able to save the right. It took us about a year to get her to where she is today, where her eyes aren't hurting her anymore, she's a beautiful weight, her coat is soft and shiny, and she's happy. And so I think she would love some extra attention. Massage her and scratch her and groom her, that she would really love it. The way that you know that you're hitting a good spot is look what she's doing to my arm. So she's grooming me back. Horses are very reciprocal. So they actually, they often stand in big grooming groups and they'll like groom each other. Oh my God. So you're grooming her, so she's including me. Oh, yes, this is nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is nice. She is literally in ecstasy right now. I think the biggest lesson that the animals at the Gentle Barn have taught me is that no matter what we look like, we're all the same. And if we could just treat everyone, whether they're animals or humans, the way that we want to be treated, this could be a much more peaceful and happy place for all of us. That's very true. And how can maybe some of our viewers help support uh, your effort? The best way to support us is to go to our website, gentlebarn.org, and to follow us on the Gentle Barn social media. Donate to this place, because this place is dope. I'm going to definitely donate as well. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure to have you guys here today. Pleasure's all ours. It's so fun. We're just having a little emu time, you know? There's been an emu here the whole time, and we really haven't talked about it. Could retitle the video the try guys hug giant oops <laughs> no we can't <laughs> okay. technically it, no, right. okay. it, it would be yeah. a, maybe a more viral frame but you know, we should go hug some cows thank you for vetoing that yeah <laughs>